Hey friends, or welcome back to my channel, or if you are new here, hi, my name is Liz. Thank you so much for clicking on this video today. We have a review video of the Clinique Even Better Clinical Serum Foundation, and oh my god, I have been wanting to speak about this for so long, but today's the day we are gonna be doing a review. So before we begin, please make sure you are subscribed to my channel so you can see all of my review videos that I do in the future and make sure to hit that bell button so you know when they are posted. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you wanna see more of this type of video. It really helps me to know what you guys like and enjoy. And I'm thinking of doing a lot more Clinique videos for you guys so let me know in the comments down below if you would want to see that and what you want me to review so yeah without further ado if you want to see me applying the foundation and my thoughts then keep on watching before we begin I thought I'm gonna put on my lab coat. Let's do a little transition. So this is me in my lab coat. This is what you would see if I'm in store, <laughs> on counter. I should probably note, I do work for the brand. I do work for Clinique. Um, I'm a counter manager, obviously on a counter, and I absolutely love my job. I'm not getting paid to do this video. They haven't asked me to do this video. Yeah, and I wanna show you guys what the foundation is like. So yeah, all opinions are my own, of course. I do wanna note, I only have one skin. I have my own skin. All skin is different, and I always like to add into my review videos that I have dry combination skin. Um, I've got a few pores around this area, and I do have a bit of pigmentation um, and my eyes and I have freckles, I have redness around here, I have very sensitive skin. So we've got that out of the way, you now know my skin type. Let me know yours down below. I'm just going to zoom you in a little bit so we can see all of this. My god there's a lot of claims in this foundation and I am so excited to try it. It is on the Clinique website. Not sure why it's on there yet because it doesn't launch until the 4th of June here in the UK and today is the 4th of June for you guys um, but for me it's the 20th of May. So I'm lucky enough to have been sent this to try out and yeah I'm so glad I have because I can get it up ready for you guys on the day it launches. So happy 4th of June, um, happy launch day. Let me just show you the packaging. Now how cute is that packaging? Um, it's like a little dome sort of egg shape and I love it. FYI as well, I haven't tanned my face but I am tanned from my neck downwards because I did get it in my tan shade. I'm not actually sure if it's going to match me but it's in the shade Honey, 58 Honey and hopefully it matches but I didn't get a lot of choice because I was very late to like ask for my shade. I'm gonna tell you all the stuff that I use to prep my skin because I feel like skin prep is very 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 important for a good foundation base. I use all Clinique skincare products. Obviously I switch it up now and then because your skin gets used to stuff but I use the Clarifying Lotion in number two, which is a liquid exfoliator. Obviously I washed my face with the liquid facial soap in Mild as well from Clinique. Then I went in with the Moisture Surge Eye Concentrate, which is for hydration, and it's absolutely beautiful under makeup because it's got that tacky feel into it. Again, if you want any review videos, let me know because I'd love to do that. And obviously I went in with the Moisture Surge. This is the older version now. I'm trying to use it up because they did send me a 200ml tub, which you will see that I absolutely have rinsed this. Love it. I'm still in need to try the new 100 hour moisture surge, which again, if you want to review, let me know. I'm probably going to be doing a series anyway, so 
let me know what Clinique products you would like me to review in the comments. And then I went in with the Professional by Benefit. This is just the original one. I absolutely love this. I just pop it in this area here on my chin and a tiny bit on my forehead lines um, because I feel like that really preps my skin for makeup. That's all I've done with my skin so far. So I have a fresh beauty blender ready, a fluffy brush to blend foundation out. So yeah. So let's see some of their claims. I'm just going to go onto the website. Okay, so it's got SPF 20 in there. So obviously having that SPF is going to really help with obviously sun, UV and everything like that. So they claim that it's a matte satin finish, which is interesting. I'm hoping it's not going to be as matte as they claim, but they're saying that it's for skin types three and four, which if you don't know, in Clinique we have a 1.01234 system where it depends on your skin type. Um, so three and four, three is a combination oily and then four is oily skin. So they are catering this more towards the oily spectrum, but like I said, I am dry combination, so we'll see if it suits dry combination skin. They say it's full buildable coverage, so I'm gonna assume it's medium to full you know. It also has 42 shades, which I think is absolutely amazing, really, really good in my eyes. But what I've found when working with Clinique, I feel like the shades can be a little bit, sometimes, as a consultant doing colour matches, I wish there was more variety of like neutral shades, but like warm shades, but not orange or yellow, because a lot, a lot of Clinique shades are either really pink, or really yellow shades. There's not really an in-between because we call our shades CN, which is cool neutral, or WN, which is warm neutral. But they can come off a little bit too cool or too warm sometimes. But the good thing is we have added a load more shades to the range and there is a lot of shades coming in with that sort of range of shades, which is amazing. Like, I am very pale naturally, and I feel like none of the shades before really matched my pale skin, but I like the shade Flack. Flack? Flack. Number one, Flack, which is such a beautiful, warm, pale shade, but it's not, like, yellow. Do you know what I mean? But anyway rambling on. That's the shade ranges. I'll pop them on the screen um, because there is a photo on the website so I'll pop that on the screen so you can see. Um, they're claiming that it is 24 hour wear which obviously I'm not going to try it for 24 hours because I do not want to kill my skin but I'll be wearing it for as long as I can. It is currently 11 o'clock in the morning so it's got built-in free serum technologies which is so good. Um, Obviously that's going to help with the skin, I'll go a little bit more in depth with that in a sec. So I'm just going to read off the website what it says it does. So it's a weightless, medium to full coverage with 24 hour wear helps to improve even bare skin's appearance. Built in ingredients like Clinique's exclusive UP302 which is a plant driven tyrosinase, I think it's called, like enzyme, which acts as like a whitening agent which helps with the skin's pigmentation. So if you had like dark spots for example that will help with discolouring that um, because obviously the even better range if you don't know Again, I can go more in depth in a different video, but the even better range helps with dark spots and pigmentation and texture and stuff like that. So that's what the UP302 helps with. It's also got vitamin C, salicylic acid and hyaluronic acid in there. The SPF 20 physical sunscreen helps protect skin from the look of discoloration. Leaves bare skin looking even better, more even, smoother and more plumped. Also, they did like an eight week sort of trial. So they said 91% see reduced imperfections like dark spots, discoloration, age spots, and blemish marks. 90% say bare skin looks smoother and more even toned. And then 92% say bare skin looks more radiant. Um, and then it says consumer testing after eight weeks on 221 women. Now I don't know why they specify 
trying it on women like they should add men in there as well because obviously there's so many male artists out there or male foundation wearers so I think they should definitely start trying it on men's skin as well because you know anyway so it does go more in depth with the up 302 and vitamin c so that helps to reduce the look of dark circles like i said and it helps to plump and even the skin so the vitamin c will obviously help brighten the skin salicylic acid will help restore radiance and help with the texture of the skin and then obviously hyaluronic acid helps to plump the skin and make it have like a more hydrated, youthful look to the skin. So it does say formula facts, 24 hour colour true wear, so I'm guessing they mean doesn't oxidise throughout the day. Uh, 24 hour defence against caking, settling, creasing, pouring and streaking. Physical sun cream helps protect skin from effects of blue light, which is really good. Um, oil free as well which is a very good one to note I get a lot of clients coming in asking for an oil free formula and obviously like it said specified that it's for combination oily to oily skin um, it says sweat and humidity resistant waterproof non-allergenic means that it is less likely to cause acne or make the it's less likely to make the acne worse but that salicylic acid in there is going to really help with the acne prone skin anyway because that is a really good ingredient that is obviously it's some um, dermatologist and ophthalmologist tested it's fragrance free and allergy tested of course that is a quick i say quick that's a very in-depth of what it is it retails for 34 pounds all the boring stuff out of the way i mean it's not boring if you you know want to know so of course you've got the egg shaped bottle here and you just got to twist and my hands are really slippery at the moment twist and pull and it does come with a lovely pump on it um, I know a lot of people aren't gonna like the glass bottle because I get a lot of people saying about the super balance bottle which is glass which I think they're discontinuing I know they've discontinued the super balanced silk but I think this is replacing the super balanced foundation so if you like that foundation then you're probably going to like this it's got more benefits in this so win-win I'm going to take a little bit on the back of my hand I'm just going to use one pump on each side and see how much coverage we can get so let's see let's see the texture so I think that is going to be a good match for me so as you can see it's not really moving much so it's got that consistency where it's not thick matte but it's got a good sturdiness to it this I've also just had a thought <laughs> I've only just thought of this but I feel like everyone who likes a full coverage matte finish is going to really like this because we do have the Beyond Perfecting foundation, if you don't know, that's our fullest matte cover. And it's got the stick, like the doe foot applicator, and it's very thick and heavy on some people's skin. They feel like it's a little bit heavy for them, so I feel like this is going to be great for people who want that full coverage, as well as matte, but a little bit more lightweight. So I'm just going to feel, yeah... Oh, okay definitely got that thick feel to it we'll see how it blends out I feel like I've forgotten something but I don't think I have so far it's blending out lovely might be a little bit too dark but we can work with that I have been preferring a brush for application at the moment it does specified to use with a brush I think that's because you can get the most payout of this payout is that the right word so I definitely feel I've got the medium coverage so far I think it's just a little bit too red for me um, I might need to color match myself and maybe get a different shade next time but that blended out really really good see it's got that matte look to it but it's not like it's still got a little bit of shine it's like a satin matte so I've still got a little bit left on definitely can't feel it on the skin this far I also 
don't touch my eye area with foundation, so please ignore my eye area for now. What are we thinking? Obviously, you've got to bear in mind that I don't tan my face because my skin's that sensitive. It does not like tan. So, yeah, I match my neck. I think it's really, really lovely. It's definitely drying down a bit more now. But what I'm going to do now is put another pump. I did use all of that, by the way. Obviously, a brush, I feel, gives a lot more coverage than a sponge. So we'll see if the difference is any different. Okay, let's do this. Do you just love a fresh sponge? I've never used this sponge before and I've dampened it and it feels so fresh. I do have a blemish right by here, right by my eyebrow. Let's see if it covers that up. I do feel the sponge is given just a little bit less coverage than the brush side but it's definitely covered that spot in my on my forehead there I'm really liking this so far it's not like overly matte which I love obviously I have quite dry combination skin I do get oily a little bit on my chin and my nose but my forehead surprisingly is quite dry um, so that's why I've got like dry combination I feel like it has because I've got a few freckles on my face just on this area. I feel like it's covered it a little bit better on this side than the sponge. But I think I'm gonna do like a pump, like half a pump on each side and like see if it layers nicely because I always like to do a second layer to see how it builds up because it did say it's buildable. Another pump. So again, I'm just gonna pop that on with my finger. So I'm gonna blend the brush side first. I always like to pat my foundation, by the way. I feel like streaking it leaves like marks. That's definitely full coverage now. And I can feel it a little bit more on my skin, which I don't mind. I think I need to get a more of a warmer shade, definitely, but yeah, really like this so far. I still think the brush side has given more cover, but they still give a really good coverage either way. I like the feel of it. I like the look of it. It's not fully matte, which I love, but it's not really like oily, shiny. Do you know what I mean? So I know why they think it would be good for oily skin, but I definitely recommend this for dry combination because it hasn't clung to any dry patches or anything like that. I love it. It looks so good. Let me do a close up. It's still got that glow to it, but not glow. It's like, like they said, it's sort of like a satin finish. First impressions, I love it. It's really, really something that I would go to, especially on a night out or if I feel like one day I feel like I need more coverage, I definitely would go for this. And I don't have a preferred preference of application either, but overall, first impressions, it blended out so easily and yeah. I think I just need to match my shade a little bit. But of course I'm going to be using the even better all over concealer and eraser, which if you haven't used this, then I definitely recommend. Obviously it's in the even better range, so I thought it would be really good to use it with this. Again, if you want a review video on this, I would be more than happy to do that. I don't even think I need to cover that spot on my forehead. That concealer blended so lovely with that foundation. So. I'm going to go off and do the rest of my makeup and I will come back after I've done that. I'm going to go off and do my makeup and I'll be right back. Please ignore my botched lip application. I'm not used to doing my lips anymore um, because of the mess. I just don't put anything on. But anyway, yeah, I finished my makeup now. It is literally 12 o'clock. So it's taken me about an hour to film the first bit and do the rest of my makeup. I have to admit, I really like it. I definitely need to choose a different shade because this is too pink, too cool for my liking, especially when 
when tanned. Um, I don't know if you can see the difference, it's a little bit more warm to cool. Yeah, anyway, I think it has oxidised a teeny bit, like not loads, but definitely has because I've stopped about by here with the foundation and it matched at first, but now it's like a little bit cooler and a little bit redder that makes sense but overall the foundation is really really lovely I love it it's blended lovely with the other products that I use like every single day I did use the Clinique blended face powder I didn't apply too much powder I did it under my eyes and on my chin and around my nose and then dabbed the excess on the powder around the rest of my face. Far so good. It's definitely dried down more matte. It looks flawless on the skin. Um, we'll see what it looks like in natural lighting in a second. I'll go film that for you. But overall, I really do like this foundation so far. <laughs> so I'm gonna go film in natural lighting and I'll be right back. Okay, so the lighting is quite off. Um, because it's quite miserable outside. So that doesn't help, but it's a little bit dark for me, I know that, but like I said, I'm gonna get a shade to mix in with it. But this is what it looks like. I think it looks so flawless. Yeah, love it so far. Throughout the week, the weather gets nicer and I can get some better lighting, then I will show you. I will check in later on. I've gone really red. I will check back in a few hours. I'm gonna wear it for so many hours, hopefully, so yeah. Okay, so please ignore my lips. Obviously, had to take that off. Obviously, I've changed as well. I've now got my pyjamas on, <laughs> of course. I don't know if you can tell in these lights, but it has to me, I feel like it has oxidised quite a lot. Um, it's very dark compared to what I looked like when I first applied it. Compared to my chest, it's not too bad in this lighting, but sitting here now, for me, it's very orangey. Um, I didn't even apply that much bronzer because I was so like bronzed already. So bear that in mind, it might oxidise for you as well looking really really good it's still matte around this area of my face and like my cheeks and stuff because my cheeks are like quite normal combination my chin is looking a little bit shiny oh by the way it's 20 past nine in the evening been on for about ten and a half hours nearly um but anyway it's looking really good on my forehead it's gone into my lines a little bit but every foundation does that i won't get any foundation that doesn't do that to be honest after 11 hours of wear it's looking really good around this area normally it sinks into my pores already at the end of the day but it's looking really really good it has come off a little bit on my nose and around my lips but i was eating spaghetti bolognese today and to be fair, it's held up quite nice. The red pigmentation on my nose, you can kind of see that coming through because I do do this quite a lot, you know, wiping my nose and stuff. But to be fair, it has held up so well. I'm so impressed. A few things that I think I forgot to mention are new sustainable packaging. So if you see this symbol, I've mentioned it in my previous videos, but I'll mention it again. If you see this symbol on any Clinique products, then that means it's recyclable. So what you need to do is obviously use up the foundation, rinse it out, take the plastic cap off and this bit here off and put in recycling. So that's amazing that the packaging is now recyclable and sustainable. And also we do have a system online where you can match yourself online so it's called the clinical reality clinical reality I'll pop it on the screen and like do a demo but what you do is you obviously bare faced make sure you don't have any makeup on at all and stuff like that but we have like a new introduction over lockdown of a foundation match so normally it's just skincare but we've i say we 
you know, you know what I mean. <laughs> a foundation match now, which you can colour match yourself, obviously in good lighting and obviously, you know, bare faced, it can match you to your skin. So I'll do like a demonstration of me doing it. Hopefully it'll let me, but we'll see. Obviously I'll put it here, but definitely go onto the Clinique website and it'll be the Clinical Reality and it'll pop up on the Clinique website and yeah. So I will come back with you in a few days. Okay, I haven't got long. That's not. But this is my makeup. I got sent all the shades the other day because obviously I do actually work for Clinique. Um, I'm in work now. It's my break. If you can't hear me, I'm sorry. I don't want to shout. But I've got a different shade on today, which I think suits my tan so much better than uh, Honey. It's Golden Neutral, which I will show you every single shade swatched on my face in a second when I get home. But I don't know what that is. I think that's from the mask. Or me rubbing. I don't know. But I've been wearing it non-stop for a week now and I I like it but I thought I'd show you in natural lighting in a shade that actually matches my skin um yeah there's a little bit of kicking around my chin and around here but that tends to happen a lot but obviously wearing a mask every single day for what, six and a half hours a day it's gonna do that. So yes, I'll speak about it more. Sorry if you can hear that kid. Um, in a bit. Okay, so cut to me doing the swatches. I'm gonna be doing some swatches for you guys now, so enjoy the little section. 01 Flack, 02 Breeze, 04 Bone, 08 Linen. Number 10, Alabaster. 12, Meringue. 16, Buff. 18, Cream Whip. 20, Fair. 28, Ivory. 30, Biscuit. 38, Stone. 40, Cream Chamois. 46, Golden Neutral. 48, Oat. 52, Neutral. 54, Honey Wheat. 56, Cashew. 58, Honey, 62, Porcelain and Beige, 64, Butterscotch, 70, Vanilla, 74, Beige, 76, Toasted Wheat, 78, Nutty, 80, Tawny Beige, 90, Sand, 94, Deep Neutral, 98, Cream Caramel, 100, Deep Honey, 104, Toffee, 112, Ginger, 114 Golden 115.5 Mocha 116 Spice 118 Amber 120 Pecan 122 Clove 125 Mahogany 126 Espresso And last but not least 127 Truffle It has been a good few days now but I've been non-stop wearing this foundation. This is what it currently looks like after a day's wear by the way. I have literally just come home from work as you can tell I've got my little lab coat on because I need to wash this. Um, I'm off for two days now which is fabulous but I thought I'd end the video before I take my makeup off because I can like explain what it looks like after a long day's hard work. I really like this foundation and it doesn't even claim to suit my skin type which is dry combination. Um, obviously at the start I explained a little bit more, please ignore my lips as well, that it is more catered to combination oily to oily skin. My forehead just looks seamless. I don't know if you can tell, but it just looks so good. Love how that's worn throughout the day. My cheek area, perfect. Hasn't touched it. A little bit has come off just by here where I've been wearing the mask. Um, it's not mask proof. It doesn't say it's mask proof, but I just wanted to put it out there. It's not mask proof. Um, but I did put it on the back of my hand in work today 
um, just popped a shade on because I wanted to see if it oxidised and if it dried down matte and stuff like that and the way of this foundation is so good like I'd put a little bit on my hand by here you know like a stripe and I left it there for however long it was before I had to cleanse my hands and it dried down fully but it wasn't like full on matte does that make sense? obviously they say it's a satin matte which it was but I was rubbing my finger on it, not that you would do that on your face, but it didn't come off that much. A little tiny bit come off, but even Tracy and work, my colleague, even said how well it's worn on there. I actually really, really like this foundation. I definitely don't think Honey is my shade, unfortunately. I'm gonna have to order my shade, which today, by the way, I have Golden Neutral, which I did do myself a little tester. 46 Golden Neutral, which I think really matches my tan lovely. Um, but Honey looks very red on me and I was in a rush to get my shades. So yeah, I'll try and get some use out of this. But once it comes onto my staff store, I'm definitely gonna pick up also my non-tan shade. Another note is because, like I said, I've got dry combination skin, by the end of the day, like now, I can feel my skin is a little bit tight a little bit a little bit dry um i can feel it around my cheek area um but when i'm putting it on it doesn't feel heavy or full on my face also the coverage is really really good but i can feel it like obviously because it's a matte semi matte finish it's like gotten a bit dry on my skin but it doesn't make my skin dry at all it just feels a little bit tight that's all I've got to say about this foundation. I really, really do like it. Obviously, you're going to see more in my other future videos. I'm sure I'll do a get ready with me for work video, maybe, if you want to see that. I'll feature this in there um, like a few weeks in the future and see if I still like it, get on with it. But overall, I think the finish of it is beautiful and the longevity of it is beautiful as well. Also, when I was doing that swatch, I noticed it oxidised quite a little bit. So maybe go a shade down from when you are getting colour matched. Maybe pick the shade down and I definitely remember to note that. Obviously, you're more than welcome, of course, to pop into a Clinique counter near you and get a little 10-day sample and take that away with you and try it, which is so, so good. Um, and obviously, it will. this video will give you a little bit more of an insight of what this foundation is like. If you do go into counter, let them know I sent you. Liz, Liz friend, let them know. They might know me, they might not. Uh, depending if they're in my area or not. But yeah, that would be cool. Definitely say I sent you. If you've got any questions about this foundation, please do leave them in the comments below. I will make sure to answer any questions you have. If you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe to my channel so you can see more review videos and stuff like this on my channel. And make sure to hit that bell button so you get notified of when I post and make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Thumbs up the video, liking the video will help me out to know what you guys like so please do hit that thumbs up button and let me know. Again if you want to see specific items from Clinique, any reviews from Clinique that you are dying to know more about or want to try, please do let me know in the comments below and I'd love to review the product for you. Thank you so much for watching, I hope this video helped a little bit for someone and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys!